It's a mighty move in this nation. It's about to happen. 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 Rapata la pakasa kata prakuto pokoso. Yekete prekete prokoso pokoto. In Jesus' name, we have declared north, south, east, west, up, down. Send vivo. Help. To this fellowship yeah. when we are talking about fellowship we're not talking about building we're talking about the body of Christ yeah. <laughs> what does that mean it means every particular in this fellowship will be received special miracles yeah. we are told that the disciples were commanding special miracles Special miracle was being done through Paul, Apostle Paul. Special miracles. We are talking about Jesus Christ himself. Special miracle was emanating, was exuding from every of his activity as he moved the crowd in the street, in the community. Special miracle. God, we need a special vehicle toward this fellowship it means that every member will have special miracle <laughs> from today there shall be no complaining in our streets Hallelujah. that's what david said <laughs> the people that know me not shall serve me they will hear me in their close places they will respond to the voice of the unknown the voice of god and they will respond quickly to help me out hallelujah i will look up onto the hill where does my help come from my help come from the lord the maker of the heavens and the earth mighty god of heaven raise favor for this fellowship everyone who cites any member of the fellowship begin to favor them anybody who side cite any member of this fellowship will begin to favor them the passion and the compassion to help people. Yes. <laughs> you have not seen that before? People running around because of your sake. <laughs> Roku takalabakasaya. They will be running around. Sometimes you do, don't get too excited. Sometimes, sometimes you got one minute. Don't get too excited. I mean, at work, just relax. Just behave as if you don't know what is going on. <laughs> don't get too excited. Get too excited. If they get to know, they detect. They don't, don't try to. Let them know, just 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 stay like a child, childlike. And they'll be running around. It's happened to me several times. Running around. Hey, hey, okay, yeah, they will take care of you. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Hey, 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 hey. Ah, everything get done. We are going to pray God, make people run around for this fellowship. Amen. To gather your people Amen. for the praise of your name. Amen. Nobody will suffer. Everybody will receive blessing here. Open doors for everyone. In the name of Jesus Christ, give us a token, a token of progress. A token of success, a token of success in this fellowship. Everyone.
one year shall prosper 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 in jesus name we have declared since this fellowship has ever begun we have never found a situation where people are struggling to get a job they always started initially as soon as they left us <coughs> and i was said don't announce about i'm going to graduate don't tell anybody here i said well, why don't we know now you are graduating <laughs> said, hey i got to announce as everything i said okay i can go ahead and then they get the sister already secure job praise the lord people are being careful not to be announced but when god is done when when god is ready to take care of somebody it doesn't it doesn't matter it doesn't matter how loud how loud you reveal <laughs> yourself it doesn't matter amen it doesn't what joseph revealed the old dream still doesn't matter would would they hinder the dream not nobody could hinder the dream he revealed the dream to family members <laughs> he had people to, to, to tell they hated on him but they couldn't hold him down they couldn't hold him down that's god for you that's what i'm talking about god is unchanging the gift of god is without variableness when god is determined to bless you when god is determined to do something unique in your life it doesn't matter it doesn't matter what ear hears it they are just hearing it they are just hearing it a prepared table before me in the presence of my enemy they are just hearing it they just be looking onlookers onlookers there must be spectators god must allow spectators to come the reason of their jealousy is for them to spectate to be able to praise god it's for the purpose of the glory of god we are going to pray today lift me higher than my expectation take me to where you want me to be in this fellowship let there be a shivers in every ramification a shivers a shivers a shivers a shivers we thank you for helping us so far i pray nobody we have any cause to suffer in this fellowship this union shall continue forever shall continue forever this shall turn the whole nation around the youths shall be united again the young ones shall be called upon by god there shall be mighty movement in the land that no devil can stop thank you father in jesus name we have declared have your seat Isaiah 40 verse 8 the grass withers the flower fades but the word of god will stand forever god is unchanging all right personalization of god's character very important that's what we are doing that tonight in our prayers we are personalizing <laughs> you cannot separate god's gifts from god Amen. we're being told it's not changing but see this gift also is without variableness that's who he is who he is how can god be, how can somebody say we raise up the dead and after some days the dead god went back to sleep and died back again could that could, could that kind of gift come, come, come have come from god all right it won't be, it won't be from god hallelujah god is not a man god is not a man he's just changing and changing and deceiving people i promise you i'm going to get it done but he's never to get it done his time may not be our time all right his process may not be our own thinking but it's surely bring his word to pass he says should my word be it shall not return unto me void what will accomplish that which i sent it hallelujah that is the word of god the word of our god will stand forever Isaiah chapter 40 verse 28 the same chapter verse 28 the same chapter verse 28 have you not known he's asking you a question have you not known you've been serving god for years 
Have you not known? You've been going to Naviji for many years. Have you not known? You've been going to Misa for many years. Have you not known? You've been, you've been hearing many philosophical statements in on pulpit. Have you not known? Meta, metaphysical messages. Have you not known? God is saying you can hear whatever you want to hear that make your ear tingle. But the thing is this. Have you not known? <laughs> I would say, have you not known? Well, make your head swell and make you happy for a while. Like somebody who's drunk. And when they're drinking, it's over. When the alcoholic, the alcoholic uh, spirit is out. <laughs> and the person is back to his normal self again. God is not a temporary God. He is a permanent God. He is the essence of eternity. He is from eternity to eternity. Have you not known? Have you not heard? Amen. We've been going to church. You have not been hearing it. You've not been hearing it. That's why we have to be reminded. Have you not heard? Amen. Because some people hear, but they don't hear. Amen. <laughs> Those that know their God shall be strong. They hear, but they don't hear. Because they don't know. Amen. And the man was being asked, do you understand what you are reading? He said, I don't. I need somebody to explain to me. Hallelujah. The people can read, <laughs> they can hear, but they don't know. No, it's another level. Say, have you not known? After you have heard, the Lord is everlasting God. It doesn't change. The creator of the ends of the earth, he does not faint nor grow weary. So when you give you a special anointing, the anointing can grow weary. <laughs> Hallelujah. I want to recharge. What are you recharging? Charge your battery. You, you become filled more. You can only become filled, not recharging. Did they give you a dead battery? Amen. When you want to charge, when you, want to, <laughs> when you kick your car, <laughs> you say, oh, I need to recharge that battery, right? All right? Praise the Lord. That's not what he's giving you. But you have a new battery. You have a new battery. Specially designed battery. A solar system kind of battery. You don't need recharging. You want the sun is on it all the time. No need for what? No need for recharging. Hallelujah. You only need refilling. Amen. Fuel for the brain. Hallelujah. The God does not faint. It does not grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. Oh, hallelujah. Whenever you are tonight, I want you to calm down because something is about to befall your life. It's about to befall your life. Calm down. You're thinking too much. You're taking God for as if uh, uh, God that we must fear uh, and, and then after what we serve our own idol. <laughs> we, 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 we fear him. Give unto Jesus what is Jesus. And then go back to my normal and my hold a bit. That's not what God is. God is a powerful of everywhere. Wherever you put him, he wants to have the whole place. Hallelujah. If you allow him, hallelujah. So you go to sit down with God tonight as if he's with you. Amen. And when you are done tonight, you are carrying every attribute he's going to be giving you today. You are carrying along to your entire activities of life. That's the way you sit down today. You sit down and say, you want to grab. Everybody say, I want to grab. I want to grab. If your mouth is too small, open it very wide. So that you can have as much as, much as possible to swallow. Amen. To swallow. Amen. As much as possible to swallow. Amen. Open your mouth, I will feel it. As much as possible to swallow. God's presence cannot be born. You can say it over and over. Say it over and over. You are made as human being. You are a spirit person. Yeah. Every human being is spirit. You need a feeding of the spirit to survive life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You are not created by the body alone without the spirit. You, without the spirit in you, you can't live. That means the real, the real engine of living is your spirit. 
and that spirit needs to be fed tonight you need to open that spirit up to be loaded to be loaded your spirit of man to be fed by the holy spirit god has the attitude of calming people down in the face of challenges he said do not worry the sufficient for the day the evil they are of hallelujah do not worry he always done in the face of challenges god has the attitude of calming people down that's not oh lord oh lord now oh lord, oh lord. Ah, ha, ha, ha. <laughs> so people are waiting for when challenges come upon them before they pray. That's not the time. The time like this, that look like you are free, you know, you look like oh you have time, but you know, that's the time you need to invest. That time of investing and the time of harvesting. All right. Sow your seed when it is early. So that your future will not run dry. He said, if that believe, you will see the glory of God. Because he did not believe it. It is, was worried. If you will believe, you will see the glory of God. God always finds a way of dousing people's disbelief. When you have challenges, that's not when you start crying and shaking. Shaky, shaky mommy. Shaky, shaky daddy. That's not the time. Hallelujah. Okay. God always try to calm people down. When you are here tonight, you go to calm down. Amen. What do I say? Your faith is more important than many words you want to say tonight. Your faith connecting. Hallelujah. <laughs> God is not cry unto me, fear me so much, and then go back to your to your to, to, to go back to your vomit. That's not what it is. Amen. You need to see me as your God. Right here in the prayer meeting. Are also going with you as you are leaving the prayer meeting that's what he's saying he said you need to realize that i'm with you always and when you come like this in the prince of my people uh, that's when i invest more in you because of the corporate anointing you need to settle down amen everybody say settle down you worry too much you worry too much sometimes you worry too much we think too many things i said the prayer that will go to help us out is the emotional prayer not the emotional prayer it's a prayer of principle everybody say prayer of principle yeah, principle. Hallelujah. Prayer of principle. Yeah, principle. God bless you. Amen. Now, God is love. Hallelujah. God is love. God is love. God is unchanging. But God is also love. Hallelujah. Do you know that some people they think that God doesn't like them? When I had it over a program, it's on YouTube. I would always say, I thought that God doesn't like me. Even if God doesn't like you, he said the bread of the sun is not meant for what? For the dogs. But God give a room for you to challenge him. Hallelujah. Then when I was born, born blind, people mm. ask, was it the sin of his father and mother, everything? He said, no. He said, God, it was created for that purpose. And the blind Bartimaeus realized that purpose. That was why a cry. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Mm. That was why he cried. And God turned the situation around. It's not because God doesn't like him. God created things for his own purpose. And he's waiting there for men who are going to grab his word for it. And throw mm. his word back to him. And ask him questions. He said, come! Let us listen together! Hey! Listening together with God. That's serious. That's grace. That's opportunity. That's free will at work. You have a choice. Everybody say, I have a choice. God is love. It's love demonstrated. And the freedom to have a choice, to change things that look like God doesn't like you. <laughs> you have the right to change things that look like God doesn't like you. You have the right. If you see a brother or sister growing very fast and achieving things, and you look at it, ah, I don't know, Lord, I didn't achieve as this. This is one of those achieving things. 
you have the right to go to God. God, what about me too? Hallelujah. <laughs> you have the right. Hallelujah. Mm-hmm. You know, in the case of Jabez too, his name was given. A shadow of what? A shadow of sorrow. And then he opened his mouth. If we can just. And God just too. <laughs> Hallelujah. And he turned the things around. Hallelujah. He said, I have a GP of uh, three points. Somebody have a GP of three points. How is he doing it? And your GPA is still 2.5, it's crawling. And you say, Well, I'm not really seeing whether that's going to be open this. But God is saying that if you open your mouth and tell me something that I'm waiting for, I can give you a job greater than the one I have 0.0. Mm-hmm. This world is very ridiculous. I've seen people who have a low GPA and become employer of mm-hmm. those who have higher GPA. It's a world that God can change. A rules in the affairs of men. Amen. That is God. God can change things to your favor. Amen. God of love. First John chapter 4, verse 8. He who does not love does not know God. For God is love. God does not dislike people. It has been covered. For God so loved the world. And he gave his only begotten son. That is the high level of love. You see high level? Highest level. Of love so what else the issue of i think god doesn't like me it doesn't work <laughs> well i've already covered that already covered that. he said he came to his one his one did not accept him but as many that believe him he gave power in the book of romans to become the son of god the only one who believes in his only begotten son his own dear son Sorry, book of John. John chapter 1. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. First John chapter 4, verse 10. In this is love, not that we love God. Listen carefully. We are even told that the, <laughs> the type of love we have now, we say we have towards God, we love God. The Bible is saying that it's not because we love God. That's serious. Sometimes not the level of the commitment, actually. <laughs> Before the commitment, it was his love. Hallelujah. Amen. That we loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son, I just told you that, to be the propitiation for our sin. That's the love that covers everything. So every other thing is under it. So we don't have we do not have right anymore to say God does not like me. Therefore, we can't compare ourselves with ourselves. Those that compare themselves with themselves, they are not wise. Meaning that, meaning that everybody have a unique destiny. Meaning that everybody have a freedom to challenge God. If any man lack wisdom, let him ask. From him who give exceedingly abundantly without fullness or shadow of turning in uniqueness. Could you rise up on your feet and say, Today your love covers me. I connect with your love tonight. The love for which you love me today. I connect with your love tonight. If he freely give his own son, how much less giving everything that we ask from him, we are going to ask tonight because of your love. Because of you sending your son. I ask today, all I've been asking for in years, I have not gotten. Today, I receive them. I receive them because of your love. I receive them. If you could give your son because of your love for me tonight, all things that I've been asking for that I've not been able to get, let them be received tonight. God is a seemingly able. 
to give exceedingly far above what we ask or think in jesus name we are declare have your seat confidently not just plain blah 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 teach us oh lord to number our days and apply our heart to wisdom prayer is numbering everybody say numbering god is a detailer everybody say god is a detailer he said the very ear of your head are numbered god is a numberer hallelujah he numbers it's a numberer it, it pays attention to detail if you say every year of your head is numbered that's serious <laughs> he's a detailer <laughs> so what is wrong with us many opportunities we have lost because we don't put things in prayer before him we say, it's too small that's too small i need to ask god i can take care of that myself that's too small I need to ask god i can take care of that myself that's too small I need to ask god i can take care of myself god say, okay okay take care of yourself but those who trust god they are working hard and they are taking their time to whisper to everything they are doing god begin to blow them up begin to prosper hallelujah because they care to put everything in god's presence that was why david was unique the very apple of god's eyes david inquired of the lord he inquired of the lord he inquired of the lord he inquired of the lord like a crazy man as america we say <laughs> inquired of god nothing goes without david asking god about it crazy for god hallelujah good craziness amen it was a good craziness god is this job from you from you <laughs> give me the job from you amen. everything is you have to be putting to god before god presence hmm. right. some people don't even want to put their marriage before god they are ashamed of talking about their marriage they need a wife <laughs> <laughs> You need a wife, but you don't doesn't want to talk about it. You want to wait till you get older. Now it's easy. There are many guests. All right. Many guests. <laughs> many guests. There are many guests, but I say girl. That only one girl is for you. If your girl is taken, you are in trouble. Will you not be in trouble in Jesus' name? <laughs> your girl is no duplicate. Hallelujah. There's one guy that is for you already. One, one smart man. Amen. If you don't open your mouth now and talk to God, somebody else will take it. May your gifting be not be taken. May your gifting not be taken in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Learn to put things into his, into his hands. Learn to commit all things to his hands. Commit your what? Commit your cares upon the Lord. He cares for you. Hallelujah. God is love. First John chapter 4, verse 10. In this is love, not that we love God, but that He loves us and sent His Son to be the propitiation for our sins. First John chapter 4, verse 16. First John 4, 16. And we have known and believed. The love that God has for us. God is love. And he who abides in love abides in God and God in him. Hallelujah. We're going to rise up on our feet today. Everything that is going around will around my life and making me to be unlovable. Every spell that carried from my family that is making me unlovable. When they see me, oh, this guy, I don't just like him. <laughs> Today, I destroy the spell Amen. by the anointing of the Holy Ghost. Spray! Rasa poko to prekatrabakasarabaya. Personalize it. Personalize God's love. When God loves you, when God loves you, 
You need to be lovable. Who is the one that says you can't be favored? You can't be loved. When God already said he has loved you. Who is the one who wants to stand against your life? When God says he loves you. Who is the one? When God is for you, who can be against you? God loves you. Who is the one? Who says you are not qualified? Who is the one who says you are not worthy of the gifts? Who is the one who says you are not qualified for the job? Who is the one who says you can't get a good husband? You can't get a perfect wife? Who is the one that says Your hope is ended, but God loves you, and therefore, you will be lovable. Your love will love you. You will meet with your partner. God will open your eyes to see who your partner is, who your wife is, who your husband is. In Jesus' name. We are praying. Have your seat. God does not unite two people together because of the facial expression of two of them. I've seen a very ugly man marrying a very beautiful woman. And I've seen <laughs> in the facial look of men, people would classify ugliness as facial look, but it's, it's wrong. Completely what? Completely wrong. Look at it. In a woman interpretation, say, oh, very ugly, but actually very beautiful. <laughs> God joined her with somebody also great, handsome. Hallelujah. That's how God works. It works in a mysterious way. So, whether you are tall or short or, uh, you know, I don't want to say all those stuff. Big headed or hand, big, big handed or, you know, figure one or figure three or figure T doesn't matter. Amen. Does it what? Doesn't matter. Figure zero. <laughs> doesn't matter. Does it what? When God is done, you will be cherished by your own partner. He will not see anybody else, but only you. If you wake, if you sleep, he'll be looking at you. If you wake up, he'll be looking at you. If you go to work, he'll be looking at you. Ah, I'm in trouble. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ask her right now. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna. It become a song in his heart. <laughs> when the time of God has reached, when the time of God has reached, when the time of God has reached, they keep knocking at your door, crying. Oh, baby, answer me. Oh, baby, answer me. Don't let me die. Oh, baby, answer me. Don't let me die. Oh, baby, answer me. Don't let me die. <laughs> Hallelujah. Because, <laughs> Hallelujah. When God has said to something, that's not the devil can do about it. Amen. The devil can do about it. Hallelujah. You're talking about, you about your own partner. He will come looking for you. Amen. You partner, she will come around where you can be able to look for her. God position her around your environment. Where you can only see her alone. 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 <laughs> you might even see a prettier lady in the category of the look of another person. But you can't see bitterness. But your own one. <laughs> That nothing was pretty, that's what you're going to be seeing. That's beauty of God. When God put the glory on somebody, forget about anything. See, many people carry beauty around today, but they are empty. Empty headed beauty. Empty hearted beauty. Unproductive. It's a minus. When you get them into your life, they're minus your destiny. Hallelujah. A pretty outside, but they put negative onto destiny. And people marry and then they begin to decrease. Have you ever seen people getting married? They were they were having job before they get married. By the time they get married, God's word, as, as, as soon as they climbed on the partner, 
the the virtue decreases and they are pretty women <laughs> pretty women <laughs> pretty women <laughs> pretty woman <laughs> on the street <laughs> <laughs> pretty, pretty woman. woman on the street walking down the street uh -huh. Pretty women. Pretty women are found in the church, not in the street. Yeah. Not, not, in, not in Bia Palo. Hallelujah. Anybody who is crying in his heart towards God is a pretty woman. Hmm. Hey, many men are not wise. They are foolish men on this earth. They are very foolish men. You know what they are looking for? They are looking for taste to satisfy their pleasure. They are not looking for somebody who will last forever. You know somebody can last forever? Somebody who is thirsty after see for the marry, don't go marry somebody who is not thirsty after God. The zeal of the Lord consumes me. Anyone that can't be consumed by the zeal of God, by God's presence, it is the wrong person. You have to study, you have to begin to find out. Right? If you hear voice of thunder from anywhere, east, north, south, east, west, top and bottom. And you look at the person very well, he doesn't have a zeal of God. <laughs> it does. I mean, you say, this of God is not very really passionate about it. Uh, you got the wrong fellow. Yeah. You have to reconsult that hearing that you hear. I say, Lord, I want you to reposition that here. Reposition my ear. I'm not hearing well. Because this one is not passionate. Say, let's pray. Ah, and he's sleeping in the next one minute. Can't pray with you. You marry. You want to marry the wrong fellow. Let me give you a little. Why am I going? Why am I shifting? I mean to say it. Say it out. Hallelujah. Yeah. Litmus test. Amen. But God, God is love. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. The love of God is passionate. You're going to personalize it today. It's all about love. Have the love. Love that love. Uh, what do you call it? Uh, love that love. Uh, love that love. Love that love. Love 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 love. Yeah, what am I going to say on you? <laughs> Eros love, that has to do with the love between husband and wife. That's what I'm talking about. It's a love of all type of loves. Amen. With this, this love of God cover every love. I'm talking about the love that connects you with your future partner right now here. You need to personalize it, love of God, to cover that area. I say, Bible say, as, as Christ, love the church and die for it. So husband, love your wife. Love your what? wife the love of god the love of god is serious but to marry a man that must have a personality that can die for the wife that's the kind of person you want to marry somebody say well it's too boring to go to church you want you want to marry you want to go and marry the wrong person somebody will go to church with you and it's already complained after one hour ah. the bible says as a christ loved the church and give himself to it so husband love your what your wife right. somebody who can't stay in god's presence longer time how can he stay with you in a longer time you guys were very ignorant we try to use religiosity to seek for partner we don't use religiosity to seek for partner you use biblical principle the word of god to search for partner lead monsters Somebody who can pray with you just in five minutes. And you say you see vision. Gonna be your husband? It's not gonna be. Sorry. Go and pray your prayer. Go and pray your prayer. And God commanded us not to marry unbeliever, right? So if you commanded not to marry unbeliever, therefore, the believer must have the quality of a Christian. A Christian must have passion for God. It may not be a prayer bombarder, but it must be able to reverence God in the communication relationship with God. If you, say, if you hear prayer, you're ready to sit down. Some people are very, very God fearing. When they hear about prayer, let us pray. Hey, ah, let's pray. Let's pray. Even though they can't pray very well, that's different. <laughs> you see the fear, the person want to pray. That's the love there, right there. So say, let's pray. Say, ah, oh, you know what? I, I got I got something to do right now. I, I, I give you a call. Ah, I give you a call. <laughs> if my if my child brings such a person in my family, I'm going to declare heaven war, war, heavenly war against the partner. 
to park alone right now and go. Hallelujah. It's not good. No, it's not happening. And you too. <laughs> 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 Hallelujah. Park your load and go. See, what sustain me in my family? Why am I deviating today? Maybe God wants us to hear. Prayer ground is where you hear mysteries. Amen. What sustain me in my family today is prayers. I'm telling you today, communication with God. That was the time I was alone, praying, talking. Let's assume I was not like love to pray. All of us in this family were being a disaster. My children will be a disaster. My wife will be a disaster. We'll all be a disaster. Hallelujah. But my wife Amen. married rightly. And I married rightly. That's why we are able to have this sustain. That's why we're going to have somebody here praying. I'm speaking to you. Hallelujah. Why do we have to ignore the most important fundamental things for the love of temporary things we can get? Let me tell you. Talking about sex, it, you will get tired of it. It will go. You're getting closer to your older age. The passion will reduce. But what does not reduce is the true love that you have for each other. Let me tell you, love alone is not enough. <laughs> That's why I'm telling you this principle. I mean, let me just say this way. The love must cover some things. Let me say the love covers some things. I don't say love alone is not enough. The love alone is not enough. It's a love that has to do with the love of attraction. People call it infatuation. I just love him. Just love me. I don't, love, I don't, feel, like, I don't feel like loving him anymore. I, I'm done. I don't feel anything for him. I don't feel any. That's what I'm talking about. The genuine love of God cover every area. Principles. It's not just. I don't feel like I love him. I, I don't have a feeling for him. The love of God is not a feeling. The love of God is a principle. Amen. Love of God is not blind. Amen. The eyes of the love of God is open. What do I say? <laughs> if you're looking at me, say, what is he saying tonight? <laughs> God gave a condition. For God so loved the whole world. He did that. But he gave a condition. Whoever. Principle. Whoever believe in him. All right. That's why the Son of God is not for everybody. For those who only believe. That love is a principle. That's a fundamental principle. Right? He gave the love. He gave everything. Right? But with a condition. <laughs> a principle. You love. And then you said, uh, I like him very well. I have a feeling for him. But you look at him very well. It doesn't have fear of God. What a love. You're going to go out and think. The way people respond to the conversation about God. Take your time. In those days, they normally do a research. They will go call a family member to make findings about the person. I think I cherish it. I think it's a good thing. Amen. I think it's good to make research. Hallelujah. But not make research about how much does he have in the bank. That's not what I'm talking about. Because I'm be selfish and greedy. That means yourself, you have mm. a problem. You want to go, you want to go get to marry to steal money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's not what it is. That's not what we're looking about. We're, we're talking about making a search of qualities of God. Does this person go to church regularly? I find out look at his friends somebody that can help you find out when he talks about God, how does he respond does he keep himself away from immorality all this need to be checked hallelujah <laughs> how does he value god does he have a gifting is he a child of god since about 10 years he's been born again but never have seen good gifting from the holy spirit ah what has he been doing how can you be 10 years in, in faith and you no, do not have single Holy Ghost gifting? Just one. That means you have not been committed. Not been committed. <laughs> not been committed. No single gifting. Even if it is gift of tongue. <laughs> I'm not going to about speaking. I'm talking about the, um, uh, I'm talking about uh, speaking in tongue. I'm talking about gift of tongue. It's meant for speaking in tongue. Right? Hallelujah. Because you can speak in tongue for one time in your life. It's a confirming that the Holy Ghost is in you. I may not speak in tongue forever. But when you are given the gift of tongue, 
you can use tongue to pray. You can use tongue to worship God. Actually, when you tongue, you're actually worshiping God. You're speaking mysteries that nobody can hear. Hallelujah. How can we have somebody that I want to go and marry, but has no single gift? And then you look around, no single fruit of the Spirit. <laughs> no single fruit. That's an anatomic nature sometimes. Flesh, we will rest against the flesh, right? The spirit and the flesh the fight. We see, could see some things happening. Even up to, up to now, as a person, as you see my flesh manifest sometimes as a person. We fight war every day. But the thing is that you cannot have a complete takeover of the personality of person by the flesh. No single fruit of the Holy Spirit. Ah, no, no gentleness. No, there are so many fruits of the spirit, right? Temperance, I mean, temperance. Uh, Galatians chapter, chapter 5, verse what? Verse 19, right? No single one there. No gift of faith. No love. No perseverance. No joy. No joy. God oh, bless you. Rasa <laughs> Taramako May your big team from the little. Don't be ignorant. Hallelujah. May your big team from the little. Jesus said clearly, he said, by their fruits. Shall not. Why are we ignorant? By their fruit. By what? Their fruits. Shall know them. By their fruit, you shall what? No, no. Think about it. What the body? Pray, pray. Oh Lord, oh Lord, oh Lord, bring him, bring him now, bring him. Hey Lord, bring him, oh Lord. Uh, and then he came around, and then maybe the angel of light, the angel of darkness of time, appears as what? Angel. Of... And then he can, yeah, okay. And then, oh, prayer man, just looking at prayer. Prayer is everything. Is just prayer. Oh, it's a miracle, wonderful. Now, how? Ah, hallelujah. Oh, that must be person. That must be person. You gotta be patient. What did I say? Everything that comes from God does not change it's perfect without variableness and it must stand the test of time time cannot wear it off time cannot what cannot make it fade away because it's from god so you need to step back after you are prayed and the person suddenly appears give it a time again another time let her be patient oh, okay a little bit closer look at it and then go back again uh, try to don't want to hear it. How does he react? Uh, you know, uh, ask question until the Lord says, "Okay, yeah, step forward and make a move. You make a move." Now, some people pay pastors are true, but they are think true pastors, leader, so that they don't make mistake. When you pass, your your you're getting engaged with somebody through somebody third party that is more spiritual than you. It helps you not to get into error because this high spiritual person will copy you it will put a restraint you need to have somebody who is a pastor some people are happy some people are having pastor but they don't have pastor church pastor is different from being Okusaka <laughs> pramakata church pastorship is different from having a personal pastor you know some of, you, some of us say i don't have a personal pastor a sheep without a shepherd there's no mentor a pastor mentor for their life spiritual mentor they just hear a message, they just pastor, 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 pastor. But do you really have personal adversary from your own personal pastor? It might not be me. You must have somebody. Those are those ones can help you and put restraints on your parts so that you don't make terrible error. By multitude of counsel, huh? There is what? There is safety. Multitude of what? Counsel. There is what? Safety. This is a whole word of God. Word of God must be balanced. Must be balanced. I put a restraint and caution you. That's up on your feet right now. Hallelujah. Amen. I am not going to marry wrongly. Not going no way. Wrongly. In the name of Jesus, by the spirit of your love, yes, I personalize this love of God. I will marry a man that loves me. A woman that loves me, that I love, that have your attributes, your love that cover the attributes of the spirits in him. 
I will not be ignorant of the fruit of your spirit as I demonstrate your love in order to get in touch with my partner in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name, we have declared. Have your seat again. We're almost done. Thank you. 